channel in today's video I'm gonna be doing a room tour I love room tours so I'm gonna show you all my style where I got things a tour of all the little nooks and crannies and overall show off my cute little room that I've created I live with my boyfriend Jesse so there's a little little things here and there dogs so you have to keep that in mind and I live with roommates so we're in the master bed behind me bathroom behind me and all that fun stuff so let's hop into it So when you first walk in, you're gonna see this nightstand, part of the bed, and then the nook where I read and have a cute little chair. Okay, so we'll start out with this chair. I got this chair for my birthday. It's from Wayfair. This is where I journal. I have this big open window and I always, I like the little linen curtain style and I like to be able to see directly outside of it. It has a really cute view. Then over here we have a cute little bookshelf. She's a little cute one. Jesse put it up for me. I got this bookshelf, I think, from Amazon. My mom gave it to me. And then this cute little piece, I got this at Ross for literally like $5. It was like on sale and it was literally five dollars believe that i was like no way this is the cute view from the window it's obviously like a little bit dark because the lighting's over here so i also have this little ledge where i have knickknacks things that i've collected things that my friends have given me and we have this cute little dog that i got for jesse he used to like love these called french bulldogs i have this cute little mushroom i love mushrooms my roommate made it shout out Isabella. and i have these really cute little plants i remember i got from i think michael's in a three pack for like a dollar like and then a few more little cute ceramic pieces that Isabella made. She thought they were ugly and I thought they were cute, so I claimed them and put them on my little window seal. Okay, now as of the chair, I really love this chair. It's wide. You can sit in it with like your feet crossed. You could sit in it normally. I'll sometimes work here. I'll journal here. I'll watch TV here. Or I can kind of just like have a place to hang out. I got this pillow from World Market. I got this blanket. I thought this was like such a cute blanket. It gives me like anthropology vibe. I got this from World Market as well. All right, now this rug. It's actually so cute. It's oriental style. We got this from Amazon. So a uh, funny story. I actually wanted a big rug. And Jesse got this one from Amazon. And it's so cute. But it ended up being perfect because it's like for the little nook. And, and it's honestly just like perfect. Okay, so now we're kind of in like my favorite little section. So it's not that big of a deal or anything. But I love this. I love this nightstand. It's like the first modern... It's honestly like the first type of like real modern piece I ever got. My mom got this for me my sophomore year. Shout out mom. I love this color of wood. This is like the first piece that I found and I was like, dang, that's kind of like my style. Like I've never really known what kind of style I want and I love this. This cute little gold piece I got from a thrift store. This I stole from my mom. It was in her office. I got this really cute walnut cross that Jesse's friend made for me. You know, just a cute little reminder to keep you grounded. This is the cutest thing ever. It's a little mini mushroom and it's so cute it's made out of rock and jesse and i got this whenever we went to fredericksburg he actually got it for me it's so cute this is a cute how many times am i gonna say cute are you for real this is a aloe vera plant and it's so precious i love like the little pot that it's in i feel like it's just very like it puts together this little space and i love it so much this vase i got my freshman year no this vase i got maybe in like high school i don't know this was whenever eucalyptus was like a huge thing and i still love eucalyptus i think it's really cute so i got this eucalyptus this from world market is low-key kind of expensive so i always try to find a dupe and they're honestly really hard to find for like the real nice pieces all the dupes are like really ugly and low quality in my opinion so i would just go to world market it's relatively affordable and then i got this vase from world market as well it was kind of expensive too i didn't want to spend that much on a vase but you know it is what it is okay now we're kind of in my most favorite little section the bed so i love my bed i love a king i love a white comforter i love the cute little accent pillows i'm a pillow whore if you will i love pillows but i'm trying to make sure i like lessen how many pillows i have and the whole shebang so bear with me yeah, i kind of added to my collection so for a while i was kind of using the same ones remember when fluffy was really popular back in the day well i got rid of those and i swapped them out so i have these big euro pillows i would honestly prefer bigger but jesse was like we don't need that big of pillows and i was like 
whatever. So behind here we have our little Tempur-Pedic pillows that we sleep with. And then right here I have a big Euro pillow. I got the insert from Amazon and the cover from Amazon. So make sure when y'all are looking, you look that way. It's a more affordable option to get like the insert and then a really cute cover. Or if you want like a really cute cover from Etsy, you can get the insert from Amazon. It's cheaper rather than getting the pillow together. That's when you find the 60 to like $180 pillows. These, I believe, were like 20 each, so it wasn't like that bad, but still, I was like, damn, $40 is kind of a lot for a pillow. I was like, oh my god. So then these, I was searching. I, When I tell you I was searching, I like literally like three months, I was searching for pillows. And I was going often. It wasn't just like me scrolling online. Like, I was like going places. So finally, one day, I stumbled upon my cute little linen pillow. So I've been into stripes a little bit, but I didn't want to go like the blue route of stripes. I kind of like black or green. And then I finally found these cute. Now these pillows, these are really cheap. These orange, auburn satin-ish pillows. I've had these for like four years now probably. I got them from World Market. I still remember the day that I found them because I love this burnt orangey copper auburn, whatever color this is. I like love this. I'm gonna have this color probably at every house I ever go to. <laughs> so I love these. They are a little like small for my liking and they like kind of get smashed easily. But whatever, they're such a cute accent. The bed wouldn't be the same without them. And then I have this middle, middle. And then I have this middle. Why can I not say this? And then I have this medium sized middle pillow. And she has like a little cute accents on it. I kind of want to replace her to like a big linen poofy pillow. But whatever. For now, she works. She's there. When I move, we'll change it. And then I got this middle pillow from World Market. Most favorite pillow on the freaking planet. This pillow, like, makes it. Like, look what it looks like without it. It's just so cute. I love the colors. All my friends know that I, like, despise blue. But I'm kind of... Blue is growing on me, y'all. Isn't that crazy? There's no green in the pillow. I think I would have honestly liked this pillow. Swap the blue, put the green. And that, that cream color, pink, orange... So that's basically what this pillow is. There's not a lot of green, but there's little pops of blue and it kind of ties like the bed together. And then I have this really cute comforter. I want to get a California King so it's a little bit more oversized because if you have a boyfriend that steals your sheets, you're screwed. So this, I have the duvet cover from Amazon and then the insert from Amazon. Pretty affordable. I think all of it was like under 100 or around that's affordable to you i don't know but for me I, all the ones the nice ones i was looking at were like 300 so i was like what the fuck and then i have this color oh you can't even see i have terracotta sheets those are also from amazon those are really cute love them i used to have like i used to use like my mom's old sheets and like the guest room old sheets and i was like i feel like i should stop doing that and finally like, buy myself a pair of damn sheets that's what we did got a nice one and yeah i honestly think that's just like so cute so this bed frame is also from amazon she's really cute i wanted it to be a little bit lighter my mom gifted this to me as a graduation present and moving into a house present. So a lot of these things my mom invested in me. Thank you, mom. Saving my decor life. Yeah, like I said, I wanted it to be a little bit lighter, but Jesse and I wanted to get something since we have a king bed that will last more long term, like for any type of house we live in, apartment we live in. Kind of, you know, that adult life. So. I guess adult means dark wood. <laughs> and then we have those cute little string lights. So I really want a room that has like a really nice art piece, but when you're balling on a budget, let me tell you, those art pieces are expensive as hell. So I'm either gonna do a DIY, which, risky. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna complete that. Or I settled on string lights until I find something like thrifting. These string lights are so cute. I like how they're small and they're also plastic and we got them from Ikea. So I love to like move and go to Ikea for like the cute little things or if you need like a new furniture piece. I highly recommend going in person, seeing what you like because sometimes you like things more in person than you would know like on Amazon. So these are really cute. I think it like ties in the room together. I am a lighting girl. Like I have this overhead light I have turned on maybe like five times ever in this house. Like and I I'm not exaggerating. Jesse's turned it on like four times and I literally am like a vampire and I'm like, why would you turn that on? Like you're making the vibes bad. <laughs> and he, he knows, he knows not to turn that on. So this is what you see on basically my side of the room. And then right whenever you close this door, I have this little section where I have my calendar and I plan everything out and this is the bathroom right here. So this is like the little corner. So you walk out of that door and then you turn over here there I am. Hi! So that's where I was like putting, the camera was just here while I was showing the bed, okay? So this is my cute little section where, it's honestly like the ugliest section probably besides Jesse's side of the room. 
Jesse, you already know. But this is where I hang up little things. It's just like, how do people make this cute? Like, it literally never looks cute to me. <laughs> so as you can see, I kind of take it over. Jesse literally has like two things. So this room doesn't have a big closet. So like in place like where we put our belts and stuff, it's kind of like where do you put them? So we have bag. I got this bag from Ava Jules, by the way. Her little Sun Glow brand. And I never really buy like YouTuber merch, but like, I don't know. She Her stuff is just like cute regardless. So I think it's kind of cute. Fanny pack. We have a few belts. This is just kind of where, unfortunately, they have to go. And I have my circle mirror. God knows I love my circle mirror. I've had this baby since I moved into my freshman dorm. I actually got it like the year before freshman year, like for the dorm. So I've had it like six, seven years now. I can't math. Six years? Something like that. So around six years. So that's how long I've had it. I got it when I was like 17 and I'm about to be 23. So I love my circle mirror. I got this bad boy from, I think it was World Market. I went through a World Market phase and they have like those nice pieces. It was kind of before Amazon really took that big leap and got the cute things. And before Walmart started having cute things. I didn't even know Crate and Barrel existed at that time. So that's the spot. Nobody told you that this was like so tiring, like talking this much. I mean, I always freaking talk, but like, damn, like explaining everything. Let me move this. So in my old videos, you can see how this dresser or this area used to have a nasty, ugly brown dresser. Well, actually it's really cute. It's just like it didn't tie with like this theme. Nothing in here is even close to like really dark wood like that one is. And the only thing it barely came close to is the bed. So now we have this really cute dresser. My dad bought this for me literally when I was like 13. And I uh, thank you dad for getting me that because I'm still using it even to this day. He would be so happy to hear that. So yeah, this is my little dresser. I love this little dresser. Is Until I move into like the expensive modern dresser, this will be the one. And notice how it's like high. It's all the way, I mean, I'm short, but like I can like lean on it. The other dresser was like, so this is a really cute thing. This is where I like to put my little pieces because when you're laying in your bed, you're always facing this area. So I got this bad boy, these cute little feathers from Crate and Barrel. I saw the feathers and I was like, Jesse, we're getting these feather thingies, whatever they are. And he was like, okay. Hmm, no, whatever. So we got them, and then I had to find the perfect base. But at this point, I was like, I don't want to spend a lot of money. And then I stumbled upon this in Home Goods. It was like 20 bucks. Feather thingies were like 20 bucks, so like $40 for this. So I was like, that's kind of like expensive, but you know, I'm realizing that everything's expensive. <laughs> Unless you thrift. So thank God for thrifting. I got this salt rock lamp. I was so excited to finally get my own salt rock lamp. And this bitch broke literally like the third day I plugged it in. So I don't really recommend getting your salt rock lamps from Home Goods. To my defense and their defense, it was kind of like obviously broken and I still got it. I think actually I think it was on sale because it was like in a smash box and I still got it. That was probably why the light. And then I got these cute little, I don't know what you call these, the botanical little stick. And they smell really good. I literally got these things, like, I don't really flip them often. Here, I'll do it now. Y'all are watching. So I don't really flip them often, so obviously, like, it still has a lot in it. But I got these literally, like, three years ago, and there's still that shit in it. So, shout out to World Market. They know how to make their little botanical perfumey sticks. <laughs> then this is just, like, Jesse's watch. I thought it was cute, so I threw it on here. This tray I actually got for literally $1.99 at a thrift store. And then I have cute little trinkets that, like, people have gotten me from vacations and whatnot. This bowl is like my most favorite bowl. I love black accents. <coughs> what? <coughs> Stop it. <coughs> no, this is Walter. Just interrupt me. Do you want to say hi? Come here. Come here. You can say hi. Oh, no. He doesn't want to say hi. He just wants to interrupt. <coughs> so I literally love ceramic bowls, plate, literally whatever. I just love ceramic, especially if it's like a cream color and then you had like, your little accents on it. So this is really cute. I got these prints. These are kind of like old prints, but I just haven't gotten the chance to like really print anything really. But so I don't really love all these prints. I think in my next room or soon, I'm just gonna honestly print new things because I kind of want a new vibe. Kind of over the pink cactus that was like when I was like 13. <laughs> so I got these frames from thrift stores. I got this little candle holder from a thrift store. The candle is from Ikea. I have these cute little things that my mom gets me every now and then for incense and stuff like that. I got this gold tray from Home Goods, and I like to put like my little glasses as a display. Usually this bitch is filled with glasses, but for now there's only two. And then I have this candle, um, it's from Walmart, it's the Drew Barrymore collection. So it literally looks like a pot, and then once the candle goes down you can use it for plants. I got this little wooden thing from a boutique, and I like to layer it, I thought it would be kind of cute to layer it like that instead of just like having them all set out and then i got this cute bowl so i was trying to get more to like that farmhousey not really farmhouse but like you know how like that's been trending with like the creams and like a little more clean girl style so i was like trying to kind of replicate that with like a cute bowl to like throw your keys in and stuff and then it turned into like hair clip bowl so hair clip bowl 
I painted this little thing. She's not that cute, but like the colors are cute three years ago. I got these like seven years ago, literally from Ikea. A lot of girls I've noticed have these from Ikea. This one was from Marshalls, I remember explicitly. And then I got this really cute crystal. It's supposed to cleanse everything and good energy from my friend Grace. And this is where Jesse and I throw a few of our like loosey goosey, not as nice jewelry and this tray is from a thrift store okay so i definitely lied about like my favorite spots of the room so this is another favorite spot of the room i made this cute little gallery wall with some of the things that i had i didn't really i haven't bought any additions yet because i knew that i was going to be moving which is stupid i should just get it now but i loved it when i first put it up like i said i love the black ad. i love cute like victorian extra little so this wall isn't like the most perfect but it's cute so this is like my least favorite one i got a cheap frame from like walmart and then i printed this from kinko's bed store this frame my friend vivian got for me she has like a really good eye for anything thrifting she's always been really good at it um and she was nice enough to give these to me for christmas and i love them so hopefully she keeps giving me those because i suck at finding them and then jesse's mom got me this from amazon i was surprised that this was from amazon but she was cute uh vivian also got me this of course vivian also got me this frame and this frame and these two actually came with it when vivian got it they actually came with the print already in it so i just haven't changed it because i thought it was cute enough yeah this is the little wall and then my cute little lemon tree so every time so i give someone like a tour of my room i tell them that it's real and it's not so so this is my cute little lemon tree. We love her. I got her from Kirkland like six years ago. My mom bought it for me when I moved into my dorm. And then I got the little vase at the bottom from World Market. Everything is from World Market. We spent like $1,000 that year. And as we lower it, this is my least favorite like corner of the room. So this is an Ikea cart, but as you can tell, this room doesn't have like any shelving whatsoever. So this is the shelving. And we have me and Jesse. Oh, there's times where we read books. We work from home. I'm still in school. So this is where I throw books and random crap and then this globe is so cute i can't wait to like put that actually somewhere but there's literally like nowhere to put it right now so that's that well we can ignore that and then if you look over there we have more prints i got this one from a thrift store and i printed that print and then i got this one from a thrift store and i printed that print so the desk is cute i know the lighting's kind of weird because the window's behind it but i'll just kind of go through where i go so i wanted an accent like i said i don't really like blue but so i would have liked if this was like a green chair but i don't know i kind of like this like pop of color i think it's kind of cool so i got this from Amazon, I'm pretty sure. This desk is from World Market. I love this desk. I knew that I would like it kind of for a while. It's kind of like that modern vibe, but not super expensive like Urban Outfitters would be. This little lamp, his name is Jans Joe. He's cute. You can like bend him. Yeah, so the reason why we call him Jans Joe is because he's from Ikea. And um, the name on the box was Jans Joe, and I thought it was kind of funny. So I got this little planner from Papier, Pap Papier, Papier, or whatever the hell you call it. That trending thing. And then I, got, I love this piece. So this piece is from a thrift store. And I love how it's like that true modern vibe. And I was just like so happy to find it. It was like $5. These little cork things are for like coasters. I got these in a pack from Ikea. This bowl, of course, Vivian and Ryan, my brother, got this. Like I said, Vivian's good at thrifting, so she found this for me. Or maybe it was Ryan. Then I got this cheap little thing from Five and Below. It actually came in handy. If y'all don't have things like this, I feel like it's easy unless you want to hide them. Here, this is the top of like a little box. I just wanted things to be elevated. I'm definitely going to replace this. I'm not a huge fan of it. This is like a stand for your thumb. I like this. Jesse's mom got this for me. And these are little faux things that I got from Shein, which was crazy. They were like literally 50 cents. I thought I'd throw that in here. This is another part of the set from that cactus set that I mentioned from Ikea. This is a little mini lemon tree. My mom is obsessed with lemon trees ever since we bought that other one so she got me this i don't know where it's from it was like i think it was from like kroger or something and yeah this is the desk area it has a nice little view We're on the first floor so we can see out so now we go turn to jesse's side of the room so it doesn't always look like this i made it look better so you're welcome jesse when you watch this <laughs> so this is like a reference this is like about my height so i got this lovely little lamp i've had this baby since freshman year from ikea i love it it's like a little click one you can click it turn it off and on and then we got another matching shelf like the one by my bed i got this k i'm not a fan of it honestly we might just get rid of it but since it's my initial i'm like where do i put it do i just throw it away i stole this from my mom this is my most favorite candle ever baltic amber from anthropology or you can get it in where I really it's the brand Veluspa. Yeah, these shelves are from Amazon, as I mentioned earlier. This mirror, I got my sock mirror when I moved in from Target. And then down here, I have a cute little bin for my dog, Walter, with his toys. Not the most aesthetic, but, you know, I feel like it's aesthetic enough for, like, a dog. That little rug I literally got from, like, for, like, a dollar at Ikea. And then this cute little guy is an antique piece, and it's, like, really cute. I stole it from a little tray. 
This is a thrifted piece. So yeah, this is Jesse's little section. This tray is thrifted. He got his Apple Watch and we got that little piece. This little divider I got for him from Target. And these lamps are like, you put them in the wall and then we have like a little remote to turn them on. They are from probably Amazon. My mom bought them, so I stole them from her. Picture frames thrifted. And then this is his like side of the bed over here. Sorry if the lighting's changing. Um, it's about to rain. And yeah, this rug I got from Society6, I think. I think they have rugs. I think it was that place. Place. I got it like five years ago, but yeah, it's not the cutest. I want to get a way bigger one It's not even the full length of the bed But this is kind of the view from the room and then I'm gonna bring y'all into the bathroom And by the way that clock we got from home goods. Okay, so we are in the bathroom. It's a little bit echoey It's pretty big. So right here is like the sink. This is Jesse's. That's mine I'll show y'all this is the closet right here and there's full mirror and you have to like slide in to get in and then this is the bathtub and a huge window. So when you first turn in, you'll see my side. This is my side and then as you keep going, we'll end up kind of like in the middle with our shared products and then Jesse's little side over here. We hang our towels over there and that's the shower. I feel like bathrooms like are not the cutest. I got this thrifting, got all my jewelry, got a little tongue scraper, got that from Target, fill my own soap, got that from all of those at Ikea. We have one of these cute little opening thingies. Don't need to see in there. This isn't very cute either, but I have a little circle shelf I got from Five and Below. Towel and like those head scrunchy things. All right, so this tray I got from Home Goods. I needed something to kind of like tie in the space because we just had a shit ton of products out. This silver tray I got from Amazon with my little like skincare product. So I kind of like like my setup. I feel like it's like good. Everything's like in reach, not too ugly. Then there's Jesse's. His never looks like this. Like Jesse, you're gonna be excited when you see this. When you watch this video, it's not gonna look like this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we like also share our products and then here's me with my little camera and right here you can like throw your clothes kind of like in here which is kind of nice and then you can open this and then that's where we have our laundry bin then you can open this bad boy and she's full of things you don't want to see over here we have a second laundry basket there was like we already had it so might as well have it and then with two people you get a lot of things when you're an athlete this is a cute little section it's honestly my one of my favorite parts of the bathroom so I was like, how do I make this cute? I originally got this put on the wall, but it's a wooden plate thing that I got for like eight bucks from a thrift store. And this is where I put like my fresh soaps, fun little body washes and a hand lotion. These are the mirrors. They have gold accents, which is cute. So the closet literally like is pretty small. I mean, it's like it's big, but like for two people in a master, like in a house, this is not big. So we're just gonna keep her closed. <laughs> okay, so this is the bathtub. Obviously like the window seal could look a little bit better, but she's cute overall. Um, I always have a book here because I like to read in the bathtub, a little towel. And then this is where I have like a little tray, little tray. I got this wooden tray to kind of fill up the space. It's kind of like an awkward space. So I got the wooden tray from Home Goods. It was kind of expensive. I got that little gold thing from Ikea. I got the little candle holders from World Market. I thrifted the little vase thing. Cute little auburn bottles from Amazon. My little bath salts in the World Market. And then those vases are from Home Goods. And then as you turn this way, we have the shower. She is not cute, but she has gold accents. And overall, it's nice to have a shower separate from a bathtub. And I got these little birds. I hung them here from World Market. So this is the bathroom overall. And then you walk that way and these doors kind of collide, but this is where I hang my barefoot dreams robe And then this is the little like toilet room thing. So we don't need to see that. <laughs> All right guys So that's my official room tour I hope you guys loved it and I'll try to like link some of the things below or at least put a description of what everything is I highly recommend going to home goods world market overall. It's a great experience. You can decorate things pretty cute So yeah, that is everything and thank you so much for watching if you made it to this part of the video comment a free emoji I would be so curious like even if just like a few of y'all did it I'd be like someone watched the end of my video and it's not just my friends <laughs> If you're not my friend, if you're a, just a normal subscriber, put that down below and I would literally cry. Like, that would be like so cool if that happens because that would mean I'm like sort of a little YouTube girly. And yeah, so thanks so much for making it to the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please share, like, and I hope I can finally reach a lot of subscribers. <laughs> right now I have like 400, so a little bit more would be great. All right, thanks guys. Have a good day. Bye.